So nearby Bradenisha. This is a Christmas video, isn't it? Yeah. It looks pretty Christmassy with that hat. <laughs> Could we do the Christmassy background? I like doing that. Yeah, if you want to do a Christmassy background, let's go. Okay. So as we've mentioned on this channel before and twice on the website, if you happen to read that, sloths are a biological curiosity that even seasoned experts on the animal don't really know all that much about. To the point where experts on sloths have trouble discerning whether or not an individual sloth has a penis or not. That's, that's a real fact, by the way. As an idea of just how strange sloths are, even the most basic functions of their biology are a complete mystery to people who study them for a living. To the point where we don't even know how they breathe. I don't know how I'm breathing with this cold at the minute, you know. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, what do you guys like know about sloths? What do you think about sloths? Have you ever seen a sloth? I fed a sloth. I fed it a grape when he was on a stick, like a little tiny oh. emperor sloth of a stick. Yes. Have you, have you seen a sloth? Only only in picture form. And I just love how they always look like they're smiling. Yeah, they've always just sort of, they do that thing about like... <laughs> <a> slow turn. <laughs> yeah, and we, I guess we've got to put the clip in from like Zootopia or Zootropolis for you Americans. But like, it was just a sloth that's just like... I know exactly what scene you missed. <laughs> so <though>. good! <laughs> Everything I know about sloths came from uh, one of our previous Christmas videos. Yeah, where we just like, oh, we did a video. It's, oh shit, it's Christmas. Put a Christmas hat on everything. It's fine. So for some reason, Fat Fiend's Christmas videos are now just sloth. Penis for next year, 2020. Yeah, you know what, see, I wrote another article about it. If anyone wants, like, you know, the backstory on that one, like, wait, they can't find where sloth's penises are. Um, sloths are noted for having very little, uh, if any, <laughs> se there. No, no, we well. <laughs> sexual dimorphism between male and females, which is, for anyone who's not familiar with, like, you know, that term, it means that, you know, Males and females of an individual species look different. For example, birds. You know, the, like the female of a species is normally like you know um, uh, quite drab, whereas like the male is usually like you know quite fantastical and um, bright and colourful to attract the mate. Whereas with sloths, they look almost exactly the same to the point where there have been multiple confirmed reports of zoos trying to breed sloths accidentally buying two males or two females, and even after they do that, spending months trying to get them to fuck. Imagine being an expert on this animal and not noticing what, like, you know, the genitals of the world's slowest animal look like when it's taking a shit. It's clearly not going to struggle, is it? Yeah. Usually, Just... When you check. <laughs> it's not going to lash out. Yeah. You, it was lash out in, like, slow-mo. Well, they can, and that's one of the weird things about sloths, is that they can uh, move with surprising bursts of speed contrary to their, like, you know, appearance and reputation. It's just that they very seldom do it. It's like... Sloths are actually quicker in water than they are on the land because they can swim very well to the point where they can hold their breaths longer than dolphins can. They can hold their breaths for upwards of 40 minutes due to how slow their metabolism is. And when they're in water, they travel faster than they do on land. Oh, it turns out they, they actually can't breathe. Like you said, you don't know how they breathe. They actually can't. That's how they can go underwater. I think we'll get to that in a moment, but I just want to mention one last thing about sloth, and that is the pronunciation of the word sloth. Because I watched like a couple of David Attenborough documentaries to figure it out. So who's going to know how to pronounce it better than him? He pronounces it sloth. Home to the pygmy three-toed sloth. And I don't like that. That's <laughs> like when I watched a documentary on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, cause it looked interesting. It's like, you know what, 4K mushroom documentary, let's go. And they say, here are all the experts, I think mycologists, talking about mushrooms and fungi. And the first person comes on, like, you know, mushroom expert. Yeah, fungi. If I was laying down on the ground and I died, fungi would leap up to recycle me. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and every expert pronounced it that way. And I'm like, but the guy doing the voiceover didn't. And I was like, <gasps> and I just went, you know what? I don't care if they're experts, they're fucking wrong. Fungi and mug rooms. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, they're wrong. I don't care. It's not even like fungi, it's fungi. Fungi, yeah. But I, I, I was watching it with my missus and we just looked at each other and went, I don't like this. This makes me really uncomfortable. I'm just, I'm just thinking of Nigella, like, pronouncing microwave now. Do how, does she pronounce, how does she pronounce microwave? Have you not seen that? I've not no. seen that now. <laughs> Nigella does what? What? How does she, Nigella she pronounce? Says, she says microwave. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a joke. That it's can't be. But, but she just seems so serious. I still need... A bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the micro wave. Have you ever seen that thing of like when Nigella Lawson for like, I think it was like the Olympics or the World Cup one year, went, 
Yes, I've got my selection of snacks out when it was a, ba like a, a bowl with bags of crisps in it. <laughs> you imagine going to Nigella Lawson's house. Like, Don't worry, I made the snacks. It's a bag of fucking crisps. It's my kind of snack, to be fair. It's like, I think it's all like, what's more cursed? Nigella Lawson's bowl of crisps. Or Stacey Solomon, like, hanging up her crisps on um, pegs individually in a cupboard. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Stacey Solomon's like a picture, of, like, she said, oh, here's how I organise my cupboard, and she hangs up crisps on, like, a washing line in a side of what? Like, what? a cupboard. <laughs> and Brad's face says it. Oh, my God. Who does that? <laughs> There's just no one. The, the amount of time it would take, yeah. crisps are all different sizes, and... I'm, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I've eaten a lot of crisps in my time. Not very peggable, if I'm going to say. I mean, like the packets, not like... Oh, the, indi the individual No, crisps. no, the packets of crisps so you can make the selection easier. You think like hanging up Monster Munch? Yeah, I thought she was hanging <laughs> to be fair, crisps by crisps. No, my no, brain no. went there as well, but then I thought, no, it'd be packets. No, no, it's an yeah, individual packet and it just looks so strange. Okay, it's slightly less worse than I thought it was. <laughs> Either way, it's still it's kind still, of weird. It's still bizarre. But, uh, yeah, so you're probably wondering, you guys, like, wait, we don't know how sloths breathe. So I should clarify, it's like, we understand the basic biology of, like, they breathe, they've got lungs just like us. But the reason experts don't know quite how it functions is because sloths spend most of their time horizontal and or upside down. And uh, just for a moment, think, like, you know, where your organs are in your body. Like, lungs are here, everything else is here, right? Mm -hmm. Now imagine being upside down. What happens to all this stuff right here? Well, it's gonna oh, it's go this ball, way, isn't it? Head, and, yeah. what's, and what's here? <laughs> Your lungs and a diaphragm. And have you ever, like, you know, spent any prolonged amount of time upside down? I've hung off the edge of a bed mm -hmm. when the blood rushes to your head. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah, you know, and you find it so just a little bit more difficult to breathe. Not a significantly amount harder to breathe, but you know, enough where it's noticeable. And that's where, like, you know, experts are confused because sloths, like, they're so slow and their metabolism is so bad that like well any additional expenditure of energy on behalf of a sloth is going to be a bad thing so we don't understand how they can spend all their time upside down and not just suffocate because the extra energy it requires to breathe while it's got weight pressed on the diaphragm of the lungs doesn't seem to make any sense so sloths have upside down organs it's Actually, weirder than that. Oh. The explanation is weirder than that. But like, uh, sloths are remarkably hardy, contrary to the appearance. You look at a sloth and you think, what the fuck's that thing going to do? They've got like, you know, three to four inch claws, I think it is. They can, like, you know, they can, as mentioned, a very short burst of speed. They can slash, like, you know, your eyes, your, your throat, something like that. There are cases of people being, like, grievously injured by sloths. Imagine that, Nick Rose, still. Killed, Killed by, by a sloth. sloth. <laughs> it was like when we talked about anteaters. And it's like, yeah, anteaters, you look at them, it's like, you know, it's walking around. <laughs> we fucking bog brush for a tail and it's like yeah they can tear apart termite mounds which are as strong as concrete and it's the same thing with sloths they can just you know they can swing they're also remarkably hardy because they live so high up in trees and they fall out of them all the time apparently it's when you're falling on your head <laughs> well actually they weigh quite a bit as well because um, they go they poop so little that like one third of their body weight at any given time is just poop I don't know why I thought, because obviously they move really slow. For some reason, my mind just thought, imagine if they fell really slowly. <laughs> <Just, laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing as well, because like, if they're on a branch and that branch starts breaking, it's not like they can jump off the branch. They just The branch just snaps and they fall, but they're remarkably hard. They have incredibly dense musculature. I hate this word. Musculature. To, um, uh, like, despite the fact they don't move all that much and, like, you know, that allows them to just survive several hundred feet drops with no injury and just crawl back into the tree. It's been a while since we've done some kind of Photoshop mm -hmm. and it's Christmas. Yes. What about a Christmas tree with sloth decorations? Why not, yeah. Just like a sloth very slowly. All you need to do is put the Christmas tree in the background and then just throughout the video, it does the sloth very slowly moves up to the top <laughs> to get the star. And then falls off slowly. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end, falls down slower. We'll do that instead. <laughs> oh, but don't explain it. Like, have it in the background and don't explain it till we get to this part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and in addition to that, you probably know this one of like um, sloths and turn their head all the way around. Do you happen to know why they can do that? Because it's due to a unique biological quirk that seemingly only sloths have. They're possessed. <laughs> <laughs> They've made a pact with Bazuzu. They have um, between two and three extra vertebrae, depending on what kind of sloth it is. And that allows them to turn their head 270 degrees. Why? Because they spend most of their life upside down. Oh yeah, I So guess. they need to look yeah. down. Oh. 
like you know when they're climbing a tree they, it's a lot easier to turn it's like you know it requires less energy to turn your head all the way around than your entire body and there's something like their bodies are seemingly so hyper specifically evolved for this very lethargic like way of life and you've got to respect it somehow haven't you like it's such a weird combination of quirks to be put into one individual animal because you look at it and think how the fuck does that thing survive and it's like it survived because it's just near entirely unique from like you know an evolutionary standpoint everything inside it is purpose built and evolved for this one very specific way of living life but yeah they're just, just living teddy bears basically yeah and they'll you know, kill you <laughs> they'll kill you with a smile on the face <laughs> that's the last thing you see is just <laughs> why have we not had a sloth horror film <laughs> well, we have we had it follows <laughs> no, actually, it follows with a sloth it's just dun, 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 it dun, follows dun. very slowly <laughs> oh but like, like let's, let's bring it back to sloths um, do you want to hazard a guess at how sloths um, uh, you know have evolved in such a way where their own organs don't press against their lungs when they're upside down well, the actual answer is way weirder than you'd expect, and it was only recently discovered um, uh, by a student who was in like Costa Rica, and they just happened to have some sloths that had died of natural causes, and like, well, let's cut them open. <laughs> in air quotes. What's the thing you, you know how often because they're very like you know they're endangered. It's not often you get a chance to examine one that has been killed. Like you know, some, they get hit by cars and poachers and stuff. But like, you know, a freshly dead one that's like natural causes. So it's like you know, basically as pristine as it's going to get. And they cut it open. And it's like, there's a lot of like weird scar tissue, or what appears to be scar tissue, around like the rib cage and some other like you know parts of the skeleton. What's going on there? And then they cut up another one and saw the exact same, seemingly what appeared to be scar tissue. And they realised it's not it's not scar tissue. Just for some reason, the sloth has evolved to have like fibrous muscle sinew that connects their major organs to the skeleton. In effect, it's like anchoring their major organs to their rib cage and other parts of the skeleton. Like, like baubles on a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but effectively, like, you know, like the inner rib cage, for example, just has like you know, these fibrous tendons that keep their like major organs in place. In effect, anchoring them to the skeleton so that they don't like, you know, succumb to the effects of gravity. And it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like and it's it. such a specific, like, you know, evolutionary solution to that issue. So that's why, you know, this person's study was like, I've never seen this before. They assumed it was scar tissue until they cut another one open and found the exact same thing. When it has to be, you know, deliberate. So if you took away the skin and the muscle and a lot of stuff like that, would they just have all of the organs dangling off the skeleton? Yeah. But because of that, like, you know, the pressure that would be on the diaphragm and the lungs when the sloth is upside down is reduced by, I think, the is about 7 to 10%, which doesn't sound like a lot. With how, like, energy efficient a sloth has to be just to live, that's enough to allow it to, like, you know, live all of its life, horizontal and upside down. Why not just not be upside down? Because it's safe. It's safe in the trees. But could it not be in the tree the other way up? <laughs> it could be. But it just seems like, how many millions of years did it take to fix that problem when they could have just turned the other way up? Well, it's the thing as well, like the, I think the tendons in their arms work in a very specific way where, do you know that thing like when you go rock climbing and stuff where there's a specific way you can do a hold? Like you do a rest hold and just rest on your own arm? Yeah. Because there's a specific way you can get your hand to clean, where you're not actually gripping, it's just the force of your weight. I don't know how it works, but yeah. there are specific ways you can, like, you know, rest while holding on or dangling from an object. Sloths have that. So it's actually more energy efficient to just hang on because it requires, once they've, like, you know, latched on, it requires no energy to just stay there. Whereas if they were hanging on from the other side, you've got to, like, you know, constantly adjust your weight, shift your weight, that sort of thing. God, sloths are weird. They are. So fucking weird. That's why there's three articles on the website about how fucking weird they are. We couldn't cover it all in one video. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Sloths. <laughs> Go watch some David Merry, Amber. Merry Slothmas. Oh, so nearby, Nisha and Brad, what animal do you most associate with Christmas that's not a reindeer? That's the obvious one. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you associate any given animal with Christmas, like red robins or anything like that? Oh, definitely oh, robins. Yeah. Yeah. Polar bears. Oh, polar bears, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I've got some little polar bears. I'm thinking what you get on Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah. On top of glacier mints as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how we're bringing the sloth to Christmas. Yeah. Well, it just took a long time, didn't it? It's like, <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's that joke. Presumably like, you've all heard the, like the Christmas joke of like a guy wakes up Christmas morning and knock on his door. Answers it. It's a snail. He goes, can I come in? No. Why not? Because it suddenly kicks the snail across his garden. Thinks no more about it. Next Christmas, another knock on his door. Opens the same snail. What did you do that for? 
<laughs> My dad loves that one. He tells it every Christmas. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, so, like, you know, slow animal being involved with Christmas. Imagine, like, Santa's sleigh being pulled by slots. <laughs> duh, 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 duh. But, yeah, any more, like, um, anything else you, like, you guys associate with Christmas commonly? So there's like, people have, like, a lot of weird Christmas traditions down there. And like you know, stuff like, you know, we've started a new one. There's apparently sloth articles at Christmas. <laughs> Any weird Christmas traditions in your families or just stuff that you might happen to think of being as very Christmassy? I just have multiple Christmas days because I always have like Christmas with Adam's family. Mm-hmm. Then I go home and have Christmas with Adam's family. <laughs> with Adam's family. Uh, Fester <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, man, I would <laughs> love to have like an Adam's family Christmas. That would be fucking sick. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just keep it at that. I just have Christmas with the Adams family. Get a load of Jingle bells. Have you watched Wednesday? I got like eight episodes in. I think that's the I'm on the last episode. I think I just went, uh. I did, it, it didn't dawn on me until after I'd finished watching it <coughs> that the double click thing was from the song. Yeah. I don't know why, but it just, I, at the end of it, when I, I was watching someone review it and mm-hmm. they mentioned, like they put on that clip, I was like, oh, it's from the song. Did you also notice, like, the uh, the teacher is um, uh, the original Wednesday? Yeah. Uh, Christina Ricci? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Goth girl icon. I still contend, like, um, Christina Ricci is one of the best performances from, like, a child actor in anything. Because if you watch, like, Adam's Family Values, literally every single line she gives is solid fucking gold. It's like, I'll be the victim all your life. <laughs> so <laughs> good. <laughs> he's like, he's just flawless. <laughs> No, that's the thing. I think for me, one of the things I always associate with Christmas is uh, movies and shows like that because that's what I'd normally get because it was always obsessed with as a kid. So it's what I'd get on like VHS because I'm that old. And as I just watch it endlessly, it's like, oh, Christmas Day, I've got like, you know, Trap Door. Love Trap Door. Let's watch some Trap Fucking Door on Christmas Day. Let's watch The Adams Family on Christmas Day. Me and my mum watch um, The Holiday mm-hmm. every Christmas. And apparently that's getting a sequel now. So it's like, oh. It's going to be shit, you know that. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> you should just be called The Airport and it's them coming out. <laughs> I remembered there's three things which on their own aren't Christmassy, mm-hmm. but together are very Christmassy for me. Which is? You say jizz? I said which is. Oh. <laughs> Not witches. That's my thing, not yours. <laughs> Jizz out of nowhere with no context. <laughs> Just got a bet on with like Lucas. Can I slip the word jizz into a video without anyone noticing? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, so um, there's uh, Texas barbecue Pringles combined <laughs> with Spider Man combined with Bully for Soup. <laughs> Those three things together, because there's one Christmas that I always remember mm-hmm. where we had the Spider Man PlayStation game. Uh, the one that's based on the first movie. I was eating Pringles and my brother put on his uh, Drug Enough to Dance album. So all three of those things together, Christmas. <laughs> Except for Road to El Dorado. Are you still laughing at jizz? <laughs> when you said Texas Barbecue Pringles, my brain just went Texas Barbecue Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hell of a different movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> Texas Barbecue Massacre. Let's fucking go. Uh, it's not a chainsaw, it's one of those electric knives. With barbecue sauce everywhere. Nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Why? Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Needs just behind the camera creasing over a little thing she thought of herself. The Texas barbecue gin It's massacre. like, you know, when your brain, your brain just does autocorrect, doesn't it? 